Hi, welcome to Chapter 6 of the first tutorial for creating and managing applications on Cyrus. In this chapter we are going to deal with uploading a heritage report to your case and we are going to explore some of the other finder options available to you on Cyrus for looking up heritage reports um, previously submitted to SARA uh, or the heritage authorities um, and uh, exploring some of the, the mapping and GIS that's integrated. So if you've ended up back on the home page and you are logged in, uh, you'll see the SARS link, click on that and this takes you to the search page. Your dashboard is still available at the top left uh, and the search page can be found at any time um, by uh, clicking on search from the home page or uh, clicking the SARS link. And you'll see it gives you all the content types available to you for search. Um, let's pick out uh, something like Pinnacle, which has sites, uh, reports, um, cases and so on. And, and you can see we can filter out what we're looking for um, by going into the relevant content type. And we can sort these by relevancy, title type, author date. Um, and it tells you exactly how many matches you found in the system. Certain content types are filtered out from your view, so you, you will not see everything that you do not have permission to. Um, these are files and cases and so on that you've been granted permission rights to. Um, under um, heritage cases, for instance, we can click on that and pick out the case, and uh, you can view the case. Okay, right. So searching is pretty easy. Um, under Explore, there are cases that I mentioned in Chapter 5. You've, we've already dealt with my content. So under Cases, again, you've got the list of cases processed so far. Um, these are sorted by the relevant heritage authority. Um, various pages below as well. Um, and it's a descending order um, of the uh, alphabetically ordered um, in various areas or by date. And you can click on the uh, table uh, headers to sort them by, say, the case name um, or by post date um, or even the viewed amount. So let's do that and you'll see probably the demo case pop up to the top of the list. Yes, there we go. Okay, multiple authorities um, are involved. You'll see the case probably viewed twice. Um, so. Moila, Sara, and Heritage Western Cape sometimes if we attach Heritage Western Cape to that case. Um, <coughs> or in this case, you can see the Middleburg Solar Parks has been attached to two authorities there. Okay. Um, the post date, that's the date that could cite, uh, the case was captured onto the system. Um, for archival cases, you'll see older dates um, as those are processed onto the system. This is the official reference number used by the relevant heritage authority. And that's the friendly name the applicants have given the case. Um, and there's the unique case ID. Um, it's the fastest thing to do is to search for things by the case ID if you know it. Um, but you can use any one of these uh, content types in the search features. Okay, remember the filters. So you can drop down the operators, choose any one of these, and then the boxes below you need to specify whatever text you're looking for or use the global search functions which are available top and bottom on all the SARA screens. Okay, if we go to reports, uh, this is the, one of the first features we're releasing on our inventory. Uh, this is the uh, Heritage Reports database. Uh, there were about 5,500 reports scanned since the 1980s up to 2009 and these were released in the GIS report mapping DVD project by SARA and each heritage report, mainly archaeological impact assessments and paleontological impact assessments uh, were scanned and mapped, digitized um, but before SARS they were not available for download. Um, now they are and the map linked to them um, is available online in all the case creation screens that we looked at earlier and we'll have a look at um, what the open layers module which is built into Cyrus uh, serves up in linking up the live content, the mapped nodes, if you like. So let's have a look at that, how that works. Okay, so earlier you saw 
um, red polygons with map IDs um, and I'll call it up in view so you can as a reminder let's right click and open a new tab <coughs> let's go back to the flamingo flare case and let's go to our location info enable the SARA reports layer now going forward reports aren't mapped anymore we are mapping cases the heritage cases so the content type will be overlaid with the heritage reports layer for f uh, further inquiries <coughs> at this stage we haven't enabled that view yet um, as we still have to clean up some of the functions but uh, you would use the two view overlays together for uh, current heritage reports um, and uh, that will current heritage cases which might be linked to heritage reports and then the uh, old archive reports are mapped up to, up to 2009 okay you'll see there's our map ID and you can't actually click on it it just gives you the label and you need to search for it on SARS uh, in order to find that report if there's something you can't that you can't see the map ID for instance this polygon is too small you need to zoom in a bit closer okay go back to the find reports and you'll see this one is going to generate a very different type of report let's click on the reports in a new tab and let's go here right I'm interested for instance in reports by um, uh, heart let's have a look okay and we are going to uh, right after filtering for heart we popped up uh, with the screen where it's filtered the cases that have mapped and it only picks out 50 at a time um, as it does in the previous screen in the table format and uh, this is a limitation in the open layers if we push too many nodes um, with complex uh, mapping uh, uh, types uh, it will overload the mapping server and uh, fail to load so I've limited it to 50 at a time um, and you can browse through the the other ones simply flipping through different pages at this stage uh, as I say there are missing gaps in the reports some that haven't been mapped some are too new to be mapped um, so you might not quite see what you think you, you're expecting in the map layer um, but uh, a lot of these are mapped so for instance on page 2 you can just about see some orange uh, polygons uh, appearing um, so let's go into so the Western Cape area uh, there, there's one over there um, let's click on this one near Atlantis uh, simply click on the link and it pops up a box describing the report and the link to the actual report click on the link and off we go there's the uh, detailed information about the report, the full bibli bibliographic information, uh, where it is um, and the actual PDF which you can then download and view. Um, right, so um, if you'd like to uh, filter the table out, so this will give you an idea of um, what is actually mapped you'll see the column here map ID less than 2009 if there's nothing in this column uh, then it won't be mappable which is not mapped as such on SARS you can see the dates here 2012 indicate it's after the 2009 period when the mapping project took place or uh, for some other reason the um, the report was not submitted during the project uh, the mapping project and wasn't able they weren't able to map it during that time um, the uh, filters work so we can say pick out a company uh, organization let's take the Albany Museum uh, paste that into the Albany Museum for the author body and this will pick out just the Albany Museum's files and you can see the filter automatically updates so there are 158 uh, reports mapped, uh, well 158 reports available by the Albany Museum uh, many of these have been mapped um, let's apply the same filter in our map um, let's go to the map and apply that there and you'll see most of the reports took place in the Eastern Cape zoom in there and let's enable full screen uh, let's click on this node there it is right click new tab 
and there's our report for download. Uh, we're coming back here and let's click on another node and there's the full report. Right click, new tab, download the report and read and assess. Okay, so that's exploring the reports um, that have been mapped and are available. And all new reports uploaded to SARS are automatically appended to this list. Um, so, uh, but the mapping is available on the case layer. So, just to illustrate the point, um, let's go back to our um, table view and um, let's go back to reports. Okay, let's pick out um, by date. Let's click on the column header and sort. Um, ah, just disabled it. Let's reset that. And these filters can be combined. So you might be looking for a map ID more or less between this number and that number, a year, a report title containing certain text uh, so you can really nail it down to a very narrow search as well. Um, let's say um, I want only 2012 um, and let's say well, between 2012 May and 2012 August Right, so these are all the reports that have been processed um, uh, in the system. Okay, let's uh, pick out a, a date range uh, to show you um, the relationship between cases that are being mapped right now and the old format of the reports. So I've set the presets to 2012 July the 1st to August the 16th, which was yesterday, and uh, hit apply and it's filtered all cases uh, with, re well, reports rather submitted between those two dates. And uh, we can then go to one of those reports and you can see the report is listed again as usual. You can download the PDF, but what's new over here is the case referenced because this is now live and uh, a fully completed case. So we can um, hyperlink to the uh, actual case because there is no uh, mapping att attached to the report anymore. Um, the case appears, you can now go to the map and this is where the report applies or this is what the, in the map layer it's relevant to. Um, you can zoom out and uh, apply the various layers of course. Um, so that's the difference between reports mapped up to 2009 and those going forward is that we are mapping cases now instead of just reports. Um, so for the archive you can pick it up by the port report up to 2009 and for the present and going forward it is the case that is mapped. Okay, so let's conclude this chapter there.